Hi everybody, this is Book S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Studios The First 10 Years Walmart Exclusive Iron Man 2 Pack. So before we take a look at the Iron Man Mark 1, let's take a look at Tony Stark since he doesn't come with any accessories. So straight on to the head sculpt. So the head sculpt looks really nice. I think it looks like Robert Downey Jr. I also think that, uh, I don't know, there's just something off about it. Like from the side, it really looks like him, but... From the front, there's just, there's something that's off, and I, I can't quite place what it is. I have the uh, previous Tony Stark head here, and to me, I think this one looks a little more like him. Maybe it's the, uh, the part in the mustache there? I don't know. There's just something that's a tad bit off. I mean, the likeness is really good. There's just something that's a little bit off with it. So, uh, the body... The body is just a complete remold of the Coulson uh, body mold. Uh, I think it came first. I don't think Chameleon was first. I think Chameleon was second. I could have that backwards, but either way, it's the uh, it's this suited body. And here's the original release. And I did end up switching the uh, hands on these. So as you can see, this one is dark navy. And the uh, tie, or, or navy, it's not dark navy, it's just navy blue. Um, and the tie is navy. And the shirt is the same. It's white. Um, so the only thing that's really different is the collar. Because this one originally had the same hands, but I switched them because uh, he, he uh, didn't come with pistols. Because in the comics he uses pistols. Whatever these things are. These aren't really pistols, but he looks cool with them. That's that's my point. <laughs> and then here is the uh, Bruce Banner figure from Age of Ultron. And it also uses the same body. And this was cast in a... a I don't know if this is black or dark gray. It, it might be a charcoal color. Kind of looks a little black to me, though. I think it's charcoal. And this doesn't look like uh, Bruce Banner at all doesn't look like Mark Ruffalo. But this uh, this body mold has seen a few releases before. Plus Chameleon. Uh, Chameleon was a bright blue uh, mold of this body. So that's about all to go over with this figure because there's, there's nothing too special about it. I do think it's nice though because even if I don't use this for Tony Stark, I, pro I will probably use it with other heads on it. Like you could probably put a Peter Parker head on it. To have the uh, Parker Industries Spider-Man. I, I just like these suited bodies because you can use them for what they're for. But if you need uh, some background figures or, or just some, uh, you know, stuff for ACBA, they're nice for that. So now let's go over Tony Stark's articulation. So he has a ball-jointed head that can look back all the way. He can look down all the way. He has ball-jointed shoulders that can only move out that far. And his left can't move out as far as his right can, which is weird because they're, they have the same joints. He has swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbow that can bend in all the way. He has swivel wrist that can move side to side and up and down. He has an ab crunch that can move back all the way and can crunch down all the way. And you do get that crunch that sound when you're moving it. He has swivel at the waist. Ball jointed hips that can only move out that far, as compared to Coulson, whose hips could move out further. So, this one's uh, joints uh, on the legs uh, from the waist down do feel pretty stiff. Like the uh, swivel at the thigh is pretty stiff. The double jointed knees, I have been moving them a lot, so they're, they're loosened up just a little bit. But the swivel at the ankle is listen to this. It has that crunchy sort of noise to it, too. And the ankle rocker does not want to work at all. You have to put a lot of force into it. So I, I don't want to move the uh, the ankles too much because I feel like they will break. Just because they do make that noise and they turn really hard. So, you know, this figure is a little basic. Um, but it's, it, it's completely reused. That's That's the one thing about this whole set. Is all of this set is completely reused. This is the Coulson body mold. This is just a reuse of the previous Tony Stark head. I think it came with the Civil War 3-pack, I want to say. And now the 
Mark One Iron Man armor um, is just a remold of this Mark One armor. This is from the 2008 Iron Man movie. And I find it odd that Hasbro didn't redo this figure at all because uh, the, the size isn't totally correct with Iron Man or with Tony because these were 5 inch scale figures. So let me show Tony next to him real quick. And you can see that Tony is taller than this suit. And that's because this is a 5 inch scale figure. It does look a lot better, but I feel like they should have just maybe rescaled it. They could have used the same uh, the same mold and everything, just scaled it up just a little bit. Uh, I don't know if that's something Hasbro can do, but it sounds possible. <laughs> I guess that's my point. So, for Iron Man Mark One's accessory, he comes with this really corny feature uh, with the flamethrower here, where he has this blast, and it's uh, spring-loaded, and you're supposed to be able to pull it back and shoot it. But mine only goes in that far. Like, it, it's not, it's supposed to go in farther, like, this Iron Man. It's supposed to go in that far. That way you can pull it back, and let me show it here. Do that. Which, it has some really good force behind it. Like, for a kid's toy, it's surprisingly dangerous. <laughs> so, I'll just leave that back there right now. And this only goes in this far. So, I, I'm not sure why it is, because I've watched reviews and that's not the case. So, obviously, mine was just a dud there. I mean, I probably wouldn't use that feature anyway, because it is pretty corny. But, you know, it, it still would have been nice to be able to use it if I wanted to, which I can. So, for the head sculpt of this, the head sculpt looks really nice. And the thing about this is Hasbro molded it in a plastic that looks like real metal or at least I think it does, it's very shiny, and it has a little bit of brown mixed in with that uh, shimmery silver, and it kind of looks like rusted metal. And it just looks really nice. Like I said, to me, it, it looks like real metal. Kind of looks uh, die cast. If you have it back like that, it really does look like a die cast figure, especially with these joints, uh, because the, the articulation is not good on this figure. I, I will say that much. Uh, but especially with the articulation, it looks like a die-cast action figure, so that's pretty awesome. And it definitely looks better than the previous Iron Man uh, Mark I figure. Uh, this one, this one had some pretty nice paint apps, but you know, this one, this one is definitely painted a lot better. Like the arc reactor, it's painted a lot better. And the uh, what's that say there? AFP1175. That's definitely painted on a lot better. Like, this one just kind of looks like they gave up halfway through. And then it has the uh, pink right here, the green paint. And the fuel canister right here, it's painted. And this one isn't. I can't say there were a lot of paint apps on this figure. It was just cast in this collar, and there was a little bit, a little bit of paint. Like, there was just a little bit of brown swirled in the plastic there, but not like this. I think it looks a lot better. Like, it's concentrated in some places, like right here, it looks a little rusted. And I do like that, how it is concentrated in some areas, like it's not just mixed all over. Yeah, it's sculpted really nicely. And that's about all with this figure. So now let's go over his articulation. So he has a ball-jointed head. Let me pop it off here. There's literally just a ball joint. There's no swivel there. So, uh, and, and it goes up in his head really far. So, uh, hold on before I, uh, show that. I think it would have been nice if Hasbro would have made it so that you could, uh, pop the head on here. Uh, you'll stretch out the joint if you try to force it. But I think they should have made it, uh, redone the joint. That way if you wanted to put Tony's head on it, you could. That would have been really nice. But you can't. Because the hole is too small. Plus it'll set up too far. It'll just look funny because that... It looks funny like that. Even down a little bit further it would still look funny. So let me put this back on here. So even though it is a ball joint it just swivels side to side. 
He has ball jointed shoulders that can move out all the way. Single jointed elbows, they're on a swivel. And the single jointed elbows, they really don't move up. So here's how it's resting. And then there's all the farther it'll go up. So, or move up. So, uh, the elbows are terrible. He has swivel at the waist that really doesn't move all the way. It just kind of, just a little bit. Ball jointed hips. He has ball jointed hips. They can move out that far. Can kick forward all the way. Oh, uh, well, that, that was not supposed to happen. That was my first time really trying to get him to kick forward there. So I guess if you try to get him to kick forward, then his legs will fall off. So he has single jointed knee that can bend in just that far and swivel side to side. And he has swivel ankles, and that's it. Oh, and they move side to side as well as up and down. They could have at least added some ankle rockers, so, but they did not do that. Now let's do some size comparisons. So there is the Mark 1 next to the previous Mark 1. And looking at these side by side, I definitely love this version a lot better. Like, the plastic that it's molded in is way better. And uh, the green paint's a little, I don't know, it looks a little too placed, you know? It, it looks too perfect, like the lines are too perfect. It should be a little scratched up. But still, the paint apps are definitely a lot better on this. So there they are. And then there the Mark One is. Next to... Next to Tony. And Tony really doesn't want to stand up. I have him leaning against Iron Man here. I wanted to say Iron Monger for some reason. I should have gotten an Iron Monger out to, uh, to compare to this. But I did not. So, another thing I wanted to do while I'm doing this video is see if the head, it should fit on the uh, electronic Iron Man here. This is just the version I have out. This is the one I have in my display. So, yes, you can do that. And that looks, that looks really good. I've heard that uh, if you want to put this head on the, the Avengers movie Iron Man that you cannot. I don't know why, like I said, like they wouldn't make the joint said that you could switch the heads with these two. That would have been really awesome. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get that back on during this review. But so there Tony is next to the Mark I. And Tony looks a little short because I had some trouble getting him to stand upright. And he's only standing upright because he's leaning forward, which is really weird. I figure he'd fall down by doing that. So... Overall, I like this set. Uh, it's all just reused parts, but if you do not have the suited body or the Tony Stark head or even the Mark I, it is a really awesome graph. Like I said, you get a lot of improved paint apps too on it. And uh, the, the Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt, uh, it, it kind of looks like him from certain angles, but I don't know. There's just something a bit off about it. But overall, this set is still pretty awesome. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.